Hey guys, Dr. John from BMO Prosthetics. Uh, we've been doing some insertional instructional videos for you guys, and today we're gonna talk about our upper extremity prosthetic. This is our UEP. And so what this, is, what this has in it is this is a full upper extremity or arm reconstruction prosthetic pack. It has your accessory kit, has your instructions, um, uh, and then it's clean, it's wrapped, and it's, and it's ready for you. We also have our um, uh, proximal upper extremity in case, in case you're replacing humerus only. And we also have our distal upper extremity prosthetic. So our, our PUEP and our DUEP, we'll talk about those a little bit later um, uh, in their own separate videos. Let's talk about the design of the proximal upper extremity, I mean, of the upper extremity, the UEP. We have our same central dowel and single pin retention system that our patents designed off of. We have a articulating elbow, which is basically a ball and socket that we specifically designed to be able to provide the most mobility and articulation. And then we have, once again, our central dowel and single pin retention system. And then we have a, um, a T-piece that locks out. This T-piece um, can be taken out. It normally will uh, um, uh, interact with and articulate with um, the carpal bones. If, uh, if you're um, uh, leaving a little bit of ra uh, distal raise and ulna, take the T-piece out and this will fit in between your distal raise and ulna and it'll lock it out that way. So let's talk about insertion. You guys have your accessory kit. In that accessory kit, you just have a couple of simple things, a couple of humeral heads and four retention pins. And then also you have your, your tag. This is a toe tag to be able to um, uh, provide a little bit of um, uh, business information from us contact information, and also for the funeral home so that they can know that these are crematorium safe. So, let's talk about insertion. Humeral head into the appropriate humeral head hole. Keep this so it's laying nice and flat in the arm. Put this in the donor arm and let your humeral head slide into the glenoid fossa where you just took the old humeral head out of. Extend out your upper extremity so now that you're ball and socket, articulating elbow, slides into that old elbow fossa. Put a single pin in to retain it. And then the same thing, extend your lower extremity, your, your lower portion of your upper extremity out to length. So this are, um, uh, interacts with either your distal radius and ulna or your carpal bones. Insert your retention pin. For the, for the upper extremity, you may want to tap these down flush with a mallet so that there's no um, uh, bulging when you close them up. At this point though, you should have a fully articulating arm. You may use some soft tissue reconstruction. We have those soft tissue re reconstruction pads, or you might uh, just use some um, um, sponges. Close them back up. As we talked about before, we just want the best reconstruction for, for the donors, for you, and especially for the donor family. If you guys have questions, um, uh, feel free to shoot us a text, shoot us an email, um, uh, put a comment below. We appreciate you guys' business. We, we like working with you guys. Thanks.